Hmm. All right, another double feature on the same day. This is uh, Sunday, September 26, 2010. We, me and her saw Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul, and Alpha and Omega. Beautiful films. Who was Alpha and Omega under? I can't remember. Come here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Stupid. Alpha and Omega. I want to say Dream Works, but it's not right. Alpha and Omega Shut is the fuck up. <laughs> I hate that voice. I want something different. Oh, Lionsgate. Okay. I thought it was under DreamWorks. Go figure. But yeah, that was interesting. It was a good film, though. Good cast. Um, shit. I forget who that was in it. No, Hayden was in it. I remember that much. Hayden, Justin Long, Dennis Hopper. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was Dennis Hopper's last flick before he died. Right? Yeah, that was his last flick. Yeah, that was the last thing he filmed before he died. That's right. Damn, forgot about that. Wow. Shit. He's been dead 13 years now. That's fucking wild. Crazy. Oh, man. Yeah. Best thing about that day, I got blown in the theater. <laughs> it's a dead. Oh, that was fun. It was during Alpha, Alpha and Omega. <laughs> Urge hits, you gotta fulfill that shit. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> but the movies were amazing, especially yeah, Legend of the Guardians. That was amazing from Zack Snyder doing a kid's flick. What the fuck? <laughs> so let me recap Zack's filmography really quick. So he has done... A zombie flick. He has done a kid's flick. He has done... A handful of superhero flicks. He has done... Sucker Punch. Which is pretty cool. I think it's steampunk. No, it's not steampunk. That's more post-apocalyptic. But psychological shit, too. Uh, that's amazing. That's a hell of a reputation. Like, shit. Wow. <laughs> am, I, am I a Snyder cultist? I like his work, but I'm not like, oh, he has to do everything. <laughs> nah. But I do love, like, his style so good. And it's unique. And I like uniqueness. That sticks out to me. And then with Alpha and Omega, that was just a lot of fun. Because we were always seeing all the kids' flicks that came out. Because, like, fuck it. We're going to enjoy some good film films that have come out and want to enjoy them and have fun and all these films that i've named off we've mostly seen in 3d these were fun especially guardians oh god that in 3d and him in the rain flying with the storm oh mm, that was gorgeous absolutely gorgeous oh my god mm 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 See, that's the problem. People who like Zack Snyder now are like, he's best for CBMs. I'm like, <laughs> you should see his other work. <laughs> it's a hell of a lot better. Oh, and that's not a dig at his current work. Hell no. That's not a dig at all. You should see how he started and where he's at now. It's beautiful. Uh, to think he went from zombies to Rebel Moon. That's crazy. Or if you want to be technical... Dawn of the Dead, Zack Snyder's Justice League. That's a hell of a evolution in career. That's amazing. Mm -mm -mm. But between the two of them, which was better? I mean, I could say Alpha and Omega because it was Dennis Hopper's last flick and he died. And that would just be, you know, favoritism. And if we're going with creativity... Definitely Guardians, easily, easily for creativity. And I like Talking Dogs, too, because that reminded me of Balto. Another good flick. Um, I haven't watched that in a while. I'll have to dig that up. Or find my review on Facebook and do it. So. Um, 
I don't know. I'm torn. Like, Guardians takes it, honestly, but Alpha and Omega was a lot of fun, too. Have I watched the other installments for that series? No. I don't want to. I don't feel like it. Because I feel like when they do a film series on purpose, it gets watered down so bad that it's not even recognizable. What are you even talking about? Land Before Time, anybody? Land Before Time. Anybody? Land Before Time. <laughs> oh my god. Like the first one, absolute banger of a classic. And it has a dark story behind it. And then you have all these other fucking installments that just went to shit. And I watched all 15. <laughs> Why'd you watch him? You're a grown man. I have a sister that I grew up with, you know? She liked Lamb Before Time because it's fucking dinosaurs. <laughs> Christ. Oh, so yeah, I had a good day. Good double feature. Good head. Great day. Let's get on with more movies.